Hi, this is Ruth Teresa with One Inspiring Woman, and I was just thinking about something we should do a video on. thinking about so many times and I would say in the last like two to three weeks that I will hear something or I'm talking to one of my students so we're talking about like energy and how we deal with energy and it's one of those we were laughing about it last night I think in class of like when people say things that they're lying about like oh I've got this to do or um, this took longer than this or whatever it is like they'll talk about it but it's one of those the person's actually lying and it can be lying on so many different levels sometimes it's just like a lie of you forgot you said it was Wednesday and it was actually Thursday or it was this week or last week or someone will be like oh I think it was like in um, 2019 well it may have been 2018 or something like that and so that's kind of more of a lie of just like you have a bad memory you know not a big deal but the lie feels the same and that's what we were talking about is like when you talk to people and they tell you something and you're just kind of like, mm, mm, something doesn't feel right about what they're saying. Something feels off or wrong or different. There's something like, mm, there's something, you can't put your hand on it sometimes like right away like, oh, that's what they're lying about. But you can feel the lie in the energy of what they're saying. And no matter what it is, even if it's just a lie of bad memory, you may feel it nonetheless. And I think that's the interesting part. When you feel it, know that they're lying in some aspect of it. And then um, even ask them, are you sure it was 2018? Are you sure it was 2019? Are you sure it was last week? Um, because it actually is forcing their memory to get better and to kind of go, well, I may be wrong. But it also gives you an opportunity to find out, are they dead set on it? No, that's when I said I did it. That's when I did it. Or are they saying, well, I'm not really sure. I can't remember. I know what happened in the past. Well, then they're kind of like getting, getting another opportunity to rethink the timeline and kind of realizing like, I be right on this but I know it happened and then re-listening to that story because it can help you believe in your abilities to sense something's wrong or off and how they fix or change that statement is going to tell you if it was a lie of just bad memory or they forgot or is it something else and so that's kind of the interesting part when you call somebody on something and you're kind of like are you sure it was 2000 whatever or do you remember uh, was it this week are you sure I thought you said you went to get your nails done or whatever it is or your hair done or something it's one of those it's really important to call people on it because it also gives you an opportunity to really understand what your gifts are uh, there are people that that's all they do is literally uh, listens to people's statements and they can feel the lie. They can truly feel the lie. They can feel it like there's something wrong with what they're saying. Um, and they can actually sometimes, like especially if they're lying because they don't want you to know something, they will actually... Um, you know change the light of something else oh I must have been meant to say this or whatever else and so it's interesting to kind of hear that aspect of it and to understand what they're really telling you about themselves and what they're telling them about your relationship with them that's the interesting part it can be quite interesting to um, see or feel how someone is willing to lie to you about something I know thank you for joining me today and I know that we'll be talking again soon see ya